Okay, this is the train manual made by Beal Tool Company, and it's a one and a quarter inch diameter, and the end of it is, is sharpened so it bites into the bottom of the hole we drilled in the blank. And then this end has a uh, number two Morris taper, which fits into the uh, drive shaft on the lathe. So the first thing you do is you insert this into the hole all the way down to the end and then put it in the lathe and that's now I'll bring the tailstock up to support the, the bottom while I turn the sides and uh, you can either just bring your tailstock right up but that'll put a, a little hole of course in the center and maybe you don't want that and, and uh, what I'll do to, the, to prevent that is this little piece of scrap wood uh, has a hole that fits on the nose of the uh, live center and, that, and that'll keep it it'll give you the support you need but it won't put a hole in the end and I'll set that just a little bit below center of the plane this way and I'll get it up close to, oh, within about a quarter inch of the workpiece, and nice and straight this way, tighten it down, and uh, now we're ready to start turning. I'll start with the uh, roughing gouge. This is a three-quarter inch roughing gouge, and uh, give this a few turns by hand to be sure it's not going to bang into something. I'll turn the lathe on, and I'm just going to rough this down until it's a cylinder and uh, then from there we'll, we'll start to put a shape of some sort on it. And, uh, I usually just kind of wing that part of it and let the grain and the piece of wood kind of tell me what it wants to be. <laughs> I'll turn it on. Now I crank the speed up for this. I'll start out about 800 or so RPMs. And as we start to knock off those square corners, I may in increase the speed a little bit too. For this process, as you can see, the chips are flying. You always want to be sure to be wearing uh, safety glasses. My regular glasses happen to be um, safety glasses uh, as well. So I, I kill two birds with one stone. Way. You want to try to keep the tool rest as close to the work as you can to pre prevent it uh, bouncing around or getting uh, what they call chatter and uh, you can just get a little smoother cut so I'll move that in a little bit and we're ready to go again. I'm going to crank the speed up maybe up to 11, 1200. Okay, that's it. Now we're now we're around. Okay, I'm going to start with a around nose scraper on this, just to do kind of a rough shaping, and um, we'll see how it goes from there. Sometimes the scraper does a real good job, and other times it it uh, it doesn't. So we'll just have to see how it behaves with this wood, and uh, it uh, I keep them real sharp so that uh, you get as smooth a cut as you can. I'm going to turn the lathe on and I'm going to probably crank the speed up just a little bit further and then I'll start shaping. Uh, this end by the, by the lathe head is going to be the top and the end that's uh, against the tailstock is going to be the bottom of the salt shaker. switch to a quarter inch spindle gouge. I'm just going to round off the corners here a little bit for the edges.
Okay, it's looking pretty good. There's a, I think what I'm going to do with this, since this wood is kind of soft in spots, I'm going to uh, seal it up with some thin uh, CA glue uh, and let it, let it dry for about 10-15 minutes and then come back and uh, that'll prime it for uh, the sanding and it'll, it'll help me get rid of some of this tear out. Uh, the CA glue will firm up the wood and make that a little easier to get rid of that tear out on that. Actually brings out the, the color of the grain just, just as if it was a finish. In fact some people on pens they do use the CA glue as a finish. Okay I think the glue is dry enough and uh, what I'm going to do now is I've sharpened up the scraper and I'm going to take just a few very light cuts to smooth it out as best I can and then I'm going to start sanding it because I, I think the shape is okay for for this particular um, grain of wood and everything and I mean you can do virtually anything you want as far as shaping goes you can make coves and get as fancy or as plain as you want um, on them and uh, they, they all seem to look pretty good at the end, so um, that's the, the plan right now is just to smooth it out as best I can and then uh, get it ready and start sanding. Okay. okay, we're ready to sand.